The world as we know it can change within the blink of an eye. Whether it's from natural disasters, a global pandemic such as the COVID-19 pandemic, or a war, it's always important to be prepared for the worst-case scenario. And one of the most crucial aspects of survival is food. In a post-apocalyptic world, there are no rules for engagement, so you won't be able to depend on supermarkets to feed you and your family. That's why survival gardening is such an essential skill to have. In today's topic, we will discuss the benefits of survival gardening in a post-apocalyptic world. We'll also highlight some critical skills and knowledge you need to grow your own food. And to make things even easier, we'll suggest the best plants to grow in extreme conditions. Let's begin with the benefits of survival gardening. One of the primary benefits of survival gardening is that it generates a consistent supply of food. In a post-apocalyptic world where resources are scarce, being able to grow your own food can help you weather the storms and stay alive. More so, growing your own food can reduce the chances of exposure to diseases caused by contaminated food, which is a huge flex. While survival gardening provides a consistent supply of food, it also promotes self-sufficiency and sustainability. By embracing survival gardening, you'll have control over what to grow, ultimately ensuring you have a steady supply of fresh and healthy food free from harmful chemicals. Although the concept of survival gardening sounds exciting, it isn't as simple as just planting your seeds and waiting patiently for them to grow. You'll need the requisite skills and knowledge to tend to your garden, especially in a challenging situation such as an apocalypse. To have a thriving survival garden, you'll need to know how to identify suitable land for gardening. On top of that, you'll also need to know how to prepare the soil, plant seeds, and water the garden. In a post-apocalyptic world where there is limited access to clean water, you'll need to know how to purify contaminated water before watering your plants. Additionally, having some knowledge of pest control and soil fertility will go a long way in ensuring your survival garden thrives. You can acquire these skills by practicing, reading books, and attending workshops. But now, the million-dollar question is, what are the best plants to grow in your survival garden? Well, the answer is pretty simple. In a post-apocalyptic world, where there is access to limited resources, including food, you'll need plants that are hardy, easy to grow, and provide the most nutrition. Some of the best plants to grow in your survival garden include beans, potatoes, squash, carrots, peas, and corn. What's special about these plants is that they are nutrient-rich and can be grown even in the most extreme conditions. Although gardening in extreme conditions can be pretty challenging, it is absolutely possible. A good technique is to use raised beds, and that's because they allow for better soil drainage, plus they also help to minimize soil contamination. For optimum success, you might also want to consider using mulch. What's interesting about mulch is that it helps to retain moisture. Using it for your survival garden will reduce the need for frequent watering. While setting up a greenhouse can be challenging, it is an effective solution for growing crops indoors. In an apocalyptic world where you might not have the luxury of going out, setting up a greenhouse wouldn't be a bad idea. What we love about greenhouses is that they help regulate temperature while protecting your plants from harsh weather conditions. But are there any other strategies for maximizing yields and increasing the longevity of your garden? Absolutely. Some of the most effective ways of maximizing yields and increasing the longevity of your garden include practicing crop rotation, companion planting, and soil conservation. For starters, crop rotation is a type of practice where you grow different crops sequentially on the same land to improve soil health and optimize nutrients in the soil. On the flip side, companion planting entails growing crops that complement each other and provide mutual benefits. For instance, growing beans next to corn help provide nitrogen to the soil. To minimize soil erosion and improve fertility, we highly recommend practicing soil conservation. One way to do it is to use mulch. While mulch helps to preserve moisture, it also ensures that your plants grow very well. Having successfully grown your own crops through survival gardening, how do you ensure that all those delicious fruits and vegetables don't go to waste? Well, there are tons of ways to preserve and store your food, and you don't need to be an expert to get it done. First, let's talk about canning. This method is great for fruits and veggies like pickles, tomatoes, and jams. 
All you need to do is boil your fruits or veggies in jars to create a vacuum seal. Doing this prevents any type of bacteria from growing. It is a remarkable way to preserve and enjoy your food all year long. Another effective way is to preserve your food through freezing. This works very well for produce like peas, corn, and berries. Simply have them washed and nicely chopped, then place in a freezer container, and honestly, it's that easy. Besides freezing and canning your produce, dehydrating is another brilliant method of preserving food. You can either use a dehydrator or an oven to dry out your produce. And yes, it is great for food items like bananas, apples, and sweet potatoes. If you don't have access to power, especially in an apocalyptic scenario, you might want to consider fermenting your food. It's an amazing method for preserving food. It involves adding salt to your produce and letting it sit at room temperature for some time. Unlike other methods of food preservation, fermentation adds a unique flavor to your food. Some popular foods you can preserve using this method include kimchi, sauerkraut, and pickles. Finally, there is root celery. Though considered old-fashioned, it is still a very effective method of preserving food. Root celery involves storing your produce in a cool, dark place like your basement or cellar. It's a terrific method for preserving onions, carrots, and potatoes. Regardless of your chosen method, always remember that foods are best preserved in a cool, dry place, especially away from sunlight. When preserving your food, it's always important to be able to label each jar or container. This way, you have an idea of when it was preserved. The TV series The Walking Dead provides remarkable insight into survival gardening, especially in a post-apocalyptic world. In the show, survivors must fend for themselves in a world where food is scarce. One of the most powerful lessons from the show is the need to have a diverse range of plants. In a post-apocalyptic world, there is a very slim chance that you'll have access to a wide variety of seeds. So, if there's anything you should learn from the show, it's making the most of what's available. Another crucial lesson the show teaches is the need to protect your garden from threats such as pests, weather events, and survivors who might attempt to steal your food. There are scenes in the show where survivors had to use a variety of methods, including building fences to protect their gardens from intruders. While the TV series The Walking Dead emphasizes the need for survival gardening, the show also teaches the importance of sharing knowledge and resources with others. In an apocalyptic world, it's unlikely that you'll make it on your own. By sharing knowledge and resources with others, you can improve your chances of survival. Survival gardening is something we should all be involved in. Trust us when we say it might be the difference between being dead or staying alive, especially in a post-apocalyptic world. By growing your own food, you can guarantee a consistent supply of nutrient-rich food and reduce the chances of contracting diseases caused by the consumption of contaminated food. Whether you're a beginner or you've always been fascinated by the idea of owning a survival garden, today's video has something for everyone. If you want to see more exciting videos such as this one, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel. You can also like this video and share it with your friends and loved ones.